Hi everyone, my name is Lucho, welcome in the workshop. In this video I want to show you the ultimate sewer. <laughs> nah, just a sewer diorama with a tank wall and the bone reaper as main character. First of all, I want to apologize with you for this long inactivity period. But this project, with the holidays in between, took me so long to be completed. Let's start with the miniature, shall we? The base color for the Bone Reaper skin is a rat skin flesh. Filling all the gaps with green stuff took me some time and I don't know if it came out well. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. The Bone Reaper will have a more intense skin compared to the Tank Wall Swan. You know, the contrast, that stuff. Talking about honesty, I decided to keep this passage even if wrong. I tried to cover all recesses with the Agrax Earth Shade, but I was so disappointed with the final result that I decided to do it again using paint. For the shadows, considering the large surfaces, I used the Morfrank Brown, thinned down like ink. The skin's gradient contains three colors and their mixes Morfrank Brown, Scrag Brown, and the base color. Showing the color palette, it's simpler than telling every single passage, don't you think? For those who are asking, yes, this video will be divided in five parts, and one part will be a patron only content. Of course, I'll assemble all the miniature parts after painting it. Quite obvious, considering all the micro details this miniature have, especially the tanks on his back, are such a mess. Don't leave his holy good leg behind.
here we go with the highlights part. From the base to kiss left flesh, with a tiny amount of flesh gets yellow. For all the stitches, we use the same color as the final highlight. The scars are done with a very liquid screaming pink. I've done the nipples with a mix 1 1 between Kiss the Flesh and Ushapti Bo. Wait, can you see say nipples on YouTube? You know, with all this politically correct flag, I'm not entirely sure. Let's move on and start painting all the pistols. Base done with Mephisto Red. You know, it's a shame a lot of people forgot about this detail, especially if you consider Skaven as an underground and disease related race. Highlighting those pistols with a mix between Mephisto Red, Red Skin Flesh and Flesh Gets Yellow. Keep adding kids left flesh in this mix for the second highlight and as a final touch shap the bone and scream a skull. The tail is much lighter than the skin and they have kids left flesh as base color. Tails shadows are a mix of kids left flesh and screaming pink. Tails highlight have screaming skull mixed with the Kisla flesh. Let's pass to the fur. I use it as base rhinoxide.
I used several layers of dry brush and normal painting during highlights. Mephisto Red added to Rhinoxide gives a warm brown tone in my opinion. Of course, for the dirt brush part, I added some screaming skull in the mix, otherwise 10 hours wouldn't have been enough to make the color pop out. Last details include eyes, teeth and horns, quite straightforward, Evil Sun Scarlet for the eyes, Balor Brown for teeth and horns. And don't forget the tongue done with Emperor's Children. You can highlight the teeth with Ushapti Bone and the tip's horn with Scrag Brown. If you want you can make some bottom stripes with Rhinoxide, but I have to say I'm not entirely satisfied with this test. We are done for now, in the next part we'll focus on his armor and metal parts in general. See you in part 2, bye!